if you look at the crisis that is happening in so many counties, just for, uh, all the way from uh, revenue shortfalls uh, to being cash strapped uh, to the leadership crisis or deficit that is experienced in some of these counties, mm -hmm. <coughs> it is something that was not anticipated by the drafters of the constitution. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, it was not anticipated in the constitution that once a governor, uh, there is a vacancy in the office of the governor, yes. uh, and what happens? Uh, for example, you mentioned the issue of uh, Waititu. Yes. Waititu has been barred by the court from accessing the physical offices of the county, but he has not, the power of the governor still. has not been removed mm -hmm. from him. Mm -hmm. He can still exercise that power until the case is hard and determined. The deputy governor is acting, but I don't know how, uh, which powers, mm -hmm. uh, indeed, I mean Nyoro, yes. has regarding to <coughs> being an acting governor. governor. It's the same thing that we are, uh, we are seeing in Nairobi. Uh, technically, we don't have a deputy, deputy governor, governor. Mm -hmm. but other scholars are arguing that uh, the resignation of Paul Kapigadze also. did not take effect yes. because IBC not did not uh, formally mm -hmm. receive Gazette that resignation or mm -hmm. the Gazette mm -hmm. him as a deputy governor. So it is something that is still like an um, issue of constitutional debate. Uh, assuming uh, the, res the resignation took effect as for the case of Nairobi County, uh, and assuming uh, that the court bars Gisonko uh, uh, from getting a, a bail out of court, mm -hmm. uh, then what will it uh, <coughs> pretend for the Nairobi County? It will pretend a constitutional crisis mm -hmm. in the sense that uh, there will be nobody who will be able to fully uh, function as a governor. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody will want to say, even uh, as it is going on right now, uh, Mr. Songo can basically appoint uh, a deputy governor and forward the name to the county assembly mm -hmm. for approval. Mm -hmm. And that person will be the acting governor in case he is barred from office. It does not in that they, this is, the issue is devolution must be protected. Mm -hmm. There are ways which the national government is undermining devolution. Mm -hmm. For example, the national constitution talked about the minimum of not less than 15 percent being appropriated to the county governments. Mm -hmm. But you see, the national government is, has introduced something called IFMIS, which is like a tap. They, they switch it on and off mm -hmm. depending on the, money, the revenue uh, flow into the consolidated uh, fund of the government. Mm -hmm. That has been a big issue and a nightmare in county governments delivering services to the people. So it is a, it is a whole system of people who clearly you see they don't want devolution to mm -hmm. succeed. Mm -hmm. And that's why they are fighting uh, uh, the systems of devolution from working. All okay. right.